I'm John Armour, and I'm from Georgetown, Kentucky. Trip Glass, and I'm from Georgetown, Kentucky. We've got the normal 18 bell grapple, the 102 squeeze, and then we've got the tie grabber, 2A 18s. I like the simplicity of it, the fact that I switched from a Hosher accumulator. You know, it doesn't have the strain on the hydraulic system that the Hosher accumulator did. You know, it's all just done by levers and switches or cables, which makes things nice. It's real easy to troubleshoot. It works well for our operation. We had the 10 bell flat accumulator and we had a normal just 510 grabber. And then when we made the switch to the AE18, we went to the tie grabber, the squeeze, and the normal grapple. Well, math, it pencils out to 80%, but I think it's faster than that due to loading. Obviously, you've got a little bit better than half the packs which makes things much quicker. And that's really the reason we switched to the AE-18, because we were having such a hard time getting the hay out of the fields. So like tonight, we would have 3,000, a little over 300 packs to pick up. And tonight, bailing 3,079, we've only got 171 packs to pick up, which is an astronomical time savings. So what's your record in a day? The most we bailed, hmm, probably about 6,000. Everybody should own a tie grabber. Okay. I mean, and seriously, I told a guy I was talking to when I was bailing hay earlier, if the tie grabber was 25,000, I would buy it. Tell them to make sure to read the manual and set it up the right way for the where the hitch is on it. Um, I found that out. Spend the money on buying the tie grabber, even though you don't want to, because they are a bit pricey. They're worth every penny.